the harbour here at Annan has been in disuse for a long time, but it's a great resource for the local community. So what we're demonstrating is one of the ways that we can use it. It can be a public space where local groups can come and explain what they're doing. People can meet here. It's a great place to meet your friends. And we're going to have boats coming in later on today. And you can see then the harbour as a working harbour with boats coming in and out. So our goal is to encourage the population to support us as we move towards reopening the harbour for boats to come in, tourism to come to Annam. It's going to be wonderful. I and mean, you can see today, it's fantastic. People are really enjoying themselves. There's a number of things. There's uh, uh, the fire rescue are here. Uh, the boats will be here to see. There's a bouncy castle. There's lots of stalls from community groups, from local producers. Uh, there's homemade cakes, there's teas, there's burgers. And there's entertainment, there's musical entertainment. We've got the town band, the junior town band, because we're supporting youth here. We've got the uh, junior juvenile pipes and drums. And we've got a young local singer called Leona Evans. And supporting us all the time, we've got the local cadets. They're, they're running about helping people and generally doing good. The festival really is to show people how you can use a space like this. It's a wonderful public space. But we, we've uh, reinstated the slipway. Uh, we've, we've resurfaced it so boats now can launch from here. That was never possible before. So not only can we encourage people to come here via the water, people with their small boats, their dinghies, their trailer sailors and their canoes can now enter the water, enter the river and enter the Solway from here. And so it's navigable all the way up to Annan, the whole of the Solway. It's wonderful, wonderful asset. <laughs> the people who I've spoken to have said, first of all, how wonderful it is that we've got great weather. So <laughs> that's a good first start. And they're enjoying meeting their friends here. They're enjoying looking at the stall holders, seeing what the craft workers have done. I think they're enjoying the atmosphere. There's a great sense of buzz and they're all looking forward to seeing the boats come in. And uh, so I think they're just here to have a good day to enjoy themselves. It's a great opportunity. This is the Annan Harbour uh, Festival and it's also the opportunity to open a new slip from the harbour uh, into uh, the river and therefore onto the, the Solway. I think this is a great uh, asset for the Annan Harbour. It'll be the nearest slipway to the uh, M6 uh, and M74 motorways. Uh, it'll mean that people can get easy access uh, onto the water here and is part really of the ongoing development of the harbour which the Harbour Trust are uh, doing so well to uh, support and promote. It's great to see so many stalls and uh, opportunities for people to get on the water, opportunities for people to meet the Coast Guard, opportunities for people to give money uh, to the Harbour Trust who themselves are a voluntary group who are working uh, to make sure that what is a real asset for Annan and the local area is better known and also gets the sort of investment uh, that, it, that it needs. Uh, I've been to the Harbour Festival before and it's just going from uh, strength to strength so it, it's becoming a great annual event in the Annan area. I think it, it's really important that we uh, develop the, the Annan area and it's got a lot of uh, assets. We've just got uh, great progress on the distillery uh, uh, in Annan. We've got good work being done uh, on the high street uh, uh, with, with the Annan master plan. The harbour's an important part of that, of just in, improving the whole range of uh, facilities and benefits that are here in Annan. But we've got to get people knowing about it. There's a lot of people who live in Annan, come, newly come to Annan, didn't really know that it had a harbour. So it's great to see some of them here uh, today and great uh, uh, you know, to ensure that, that what is a real asset for the community is going to be maximised. Well, people are firstly very glad that it's such a great uh, uh, day, one of the best days of the year so far. So that, uh, I mean, I think that adds to the positive uh, atmosphere. I think people are impressed by uh, the slipway. Uh, it's quite clear that people want to get out on the on uh, uh, the water, and I think there's you know a great opportunity to have more people being able to uh, access the Solway from uh, uh, here. And I think people are enthusiastic about the developments. Uh, down here at the harbour and very grateful to the Harbour Trust for the work that they've done.
Okay. Yeah, it's a great day out for all the people of Arden in the surrounding area. It's a good day out for the family. There's lots of things for the kids to do. There's bouncy castles, there's boat roads, boat rides into the Solway. There's lots of stalls, brick and brack going on. People, local organisations telling people what, what they do. So, for example, the Friends of the Andy Nestles Museum, who do a great job in the town. Well, we thought the harbour's a great space. Uh, people in Arnhem maybe not come here for a number of years because it's uh, downtrodden and looks an eyesore. So we've said, well, we'll tidy it up. We'll do our best to make it look good. Uh, we'll, we'll see if we can encourage more boats to come and use the harbour. So what we've done today is we've opened our new slipway and that allows small boats to go into the Solway and it's a really a good leisure facility. It's a tremendous opportunity here to show that we do have a gateway and an entrance into Annan that is well and truly undertapped. We, I think what we're finding that there's a magnificent group of volunteers here. The, we've got the um, Annan Harbour Action Group, we've got the Coastal Loan Project and we've got a whole load of the town's charities here today dis displaying what they actually do. The majority of the stalls as we look round about, these are all volunteers. They're volunteers from the town that put their time and efforts to try and move things forward. And one of the main aims today is really to raise the profile of what we've got down here in the town at our harbour. It's been derelict for a, a number of years, but you came down this morning and you can see that things are changing. There's 30 businesses down at this part of the town. And as we look across, we're seeing the first boat coming in there, Mr Kerr's coming in there with his catamaran. What a great place this would be if we had this on a regular basis. We need this to be active. And what a great gateway to the town. We know through the regeneration project we see that the town bridge um, as we're coming in over the Annan that's getting done the old Victorian lighting system is going to be replicated on there and we're going to have a new entrance from the station at the railway station there at the top end of St John's Road but what an asset this would be if we can do something down here we've then got the entrance by road we've then got it by rail we've got the distillery at the north end of the town next to that mecca that's Gala Bank and uh, if we can get something here at the harbour we can bring them in by sail road and rail and that is that is just a boost in these current climate. What an opportunity we could get just to put Annan back on the map. We know we're only miles there from the Solway, but that Solway could be a haven. You see places like Kipford further along the coast. Well, why can't we make this something like our Kipford? Why can't we have this attraction right on the inner Solway? I think what the people are doing here is tremendous, and I really, really encourage everyone to give us much support to these groups as they go forward. Today is a day of celebration and showing what's actually happening down here and what can be done if people put their minds to that. And I'm delighted, I was privileged to be asked to come along today and, and open the event, but I'm absolutely delighted to show my support. At the football club, we need the community, we need the town, we need the businesses, and we're grateful for that. And it's the same here with the regeneration of the harbour. Brilliant. Let's all get on board and, and everyone that can help the town because if we can boost this project, the town and the businesses and the economy will all help. And right on cue, there's Mr Kerr's catamaran. Cheers. Get him